I don't usually get a privilege of interviewing two stars from a musical, so I'm getting I'm getting double the value for the money today. So this this is really really good. How long have you both been touring with Jesus Christ Superstar? Well, well we rehearsed in the end of August, and then the tour kicked off um, September in Manchester. But we had a glorious five weeks off at Christmas time because um, yeah, it's Panto season. No one wants to see Jesus on the cross at Christmas time, really, do they? <laughs> I know you've been very prolific, haven't you, as a, both as a musician and as an actor? Uh, well, yeah, I, I actually trained uh, in Cardiff. I went to Welsh College. I did my training there. Um, trained as a trained as an actor. And then when I left, I got slowly shouldered into um, doing musicals. And um, one of the teachers, actually, one of the lecturers at Cardiff, uh, John O'Hara, um, he was the keyboard player for Jethro Tull. And... Um, <laughs> I was doing a show, Quadrophenia, and uh, John O'Hara had done the musical arrangement for it. And uh, the Ian Anderson from Jethro Tull came to watch, and he was like, yeah, I, I need a guy like that, essentially, that can sort of channel a younger me um, on stage. So I went on tour with Jethro Tull for about five years, I think it was, um, and then went into doing Sunny Afternoon in the West End. And yeah, basically, I'm living my life through 60s and 70s rock music. I, I did actually see you in Sunny Afternoon because you played Ray Davis in that, didn't you? It was pilot isn't isn't so much. He's more of a historical type, but he's still perform. He, he's still singing and stuff, isn't he? What, what's the difference in the type of role? How do you approach something like that? Well, I think uh, this this particular pilot and the way we we've set it up, he is a sort of um, an aging rock star who has be is being challenged and replaced by somebody younger and so you know i'm still singing rock songs albeit andrew lloyd webber rock songs and playing guitar but it's um telling a very different story of course it's yeah it's a proper clear narrative in this well at times <laughs> how about how about you ian because i because i understand you've been quite busy as well and even had an olivier nomination as well yeah yeah that was around the same time that well that was seven years ago actually that was 2005 no longer than that god it was 2015 so yeah i got pipped to, i got pipped to the post for that nomination by george Maguire, who was in the sunny afternoon funnily enough <laughs> yeah I'm, i mean I, I i went to a, a performing arts college when i was 16 i left home at coventry and and i went to a place called masters performing arts really because I'd never done any kind of performance before I could I could always sing as a child and and but we didn't really know how to channel that or go any you know I'm from sort of a council estate in in the Midlands you know so we didn't there was no musical theatre scene there really um yeah and I ended up getting a, a an audition at a college and and it changed my life basically yeah and from then I've you know went on and toured around the UK been in the West End and done lots of amazing shows and performed with some incredible people like you know so very lucky man. I mean, and this Jesus Christ Superstar, I mean, this is like what one of the most iconic musicals, isn't it, really? And now, I mean, it's been around for like over five decades. I mean, how does one approach coming into something like this, and especially in, in the lead role, so to speak? Yeah, I think, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of years that have gone, you know, there's a lot of performances, there's a lot of productions of this that have gone on over the years. And so, you know, you can't help but have that kind of comparison. The fortunate thing for me before coming into this is I didn't actually see too much of JCS before this, you know? Um, I, I really had seen the video of the 1970s version, um, the 1970s, is it 1973 film, I think it was? Yeah. And um, I saw that I saw that once, and um, but then I hadn't seen a production of it, you know, performed. So for me, that was, I wasn't really trying to recreate anything. I was just trying to just come up with my own character and like, you know what Ryan said. It's 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 um for me. I was like a you know I'm like an indie singer. We're playing mostly on the superstardom rather than the Jesus element of this. Mm -hmm. Um, we're talking about the superstardom mob mentality. Um, you know, and and it's through the eyes. You know, obviously the story of Jesus yes, is through the eyes of, of of Judas. So, yeah, it's uh, approaching it. Uh, like a real man really who's got real problems and and you know obviously for those who don't know what jcs is about it's about the passion story which is the uh, mm. you know the suffering which means the suffering so it's basically just a human story and we're trying to bring that human story and make it relatable to the audiences and i think that works i think it really works with the audiences that, that have seen it so far so yeah mm.